Hi friends, welcome to Civil Engineering World. In this video, we are going to discuss about top 100 MCQs of building materials and construction. So before going ahead, please make sure to subscribe our channel Civil Engineering World for the latest videos and lectures. Okay, so this is a quick reminder to you that if you haven't seen our previous videos, which covers top 100 MCQs of concrete and also top 100 MCQs of surveying, then please go ahead and check out those videos. Okay, let's get started to our top 100 MCQs of building materials and construction. So the first one is quartzite it is a uh, siliceous materials or glaceous materials calcareous materials or aqueous rock so quartzite is a uh, siliceous materials okay so next is which of the following is a mineral basalt granite quartz and sienite so quartz is the mineral okay our next one is Sandstone is a sedimentary rock, aqueous rock, siliceous rock, all of these. So its answer is D, all of these. Okay, um, next is which of the following is a rock? So gypsum is a rock. Okay, next one is um, the heavy stone is suitable for arches, rubble masonry, roads, retaining walls. So heavy stone is suitable for retaining walls. Okay, let's move to the next one. Which of the following metamorphic rocks has the most weather resisting characteristics? So quartzite has the most weather resisting quart characteristics. B is the correct answer. Okay, a good building stone should not absorb water more than 5%. A is the correct answer. Okay. Um, next is which of the following has more fire resisting characteristics marble limestone sandstone granite so grand sandstone is the correct answer c is the correct answer okay the next one is um, which of the following stone is best suited for construction of piers and abutments of railway bridge um, granite, sandstone, limestone, and quartzite. So granite is the best one. Next is crushing strength of good building stone should be more than 100 megapascal. B is the correct answer. Um, next is um, crushing strength of good building stone should be more than 100 megapascal. B is the correct answer okay so specific gravity of most of the building stone lies between 2.5 to 3 c is the correct answer okay so next is cross cut saw is used for cutting soft stones cutting hard stones cutting large stones or dressing so, so cross saw is used for cutting uh, hard stones okay next is Spalling hammer is used for spalling hammer is used for rough dressing of stones, carving of stones, breaking the small projections, and none of above. So spalling hammer is used for rough dressing of stones. A is the correct answer. Okay. Next is granite is not suitable for ordinary buildings purposes because it is costly. C is the correct answer. Next is which of the following trees yield hardwood? So shisham is the word that yields hardwood. C is the correct answer. Okay. So next is the radial splits which are wider on the outer side of the log and narrower towards the pit are known as star shakes. Okay. Next is which of the following pair of trees yield soft wood? So cheer and deodar yields softwood okay next is which of the following timber is suitable for making sports good so mulberry is the tree which is used for making sports goods a is the correct answer okay the diseases of dry rot in timber is caused by lack of ventilation a is the correct answer next is plywood has the advantage of 
greater strength in long direction greater strength in short direction same strength in all direction so its answer is greater strength in short direction um, sorry its answer is same tensile strength in all direction c is the correct answer okay next one is in which of the following directions the strength of timber is maximum a is the correct answer parallel to grains okay next is the moisture content in a well seasoned timber is it should be between 10 uh, to 12 percent b is the correct answer okay next is the trunk of tree left after cutting all the branches is known as log a is the correct answer okay next is the age of trees can be known by examining annual rings b is the correct answer next is the plywood the plywood uh, has good strength along the panels only can split in the plane of the panels has greater impact resistance to blows cannot be bent more easily than ordinary wood of same thickness so the plywood can be split in the plane of the panel so um, b is the correct answer next is first class timber has an average life of, of um, more than 10 years d is the correct answer okay so next is a first class brick when immersed in water for 24 hours should not absorb water more than 20 percent so you should also know the um, water absorption uh, uh, of other qualities of bricks such as second class and third class so in case so in case of uh, second and third class the water absorption should not be greater than 22 percent for second class and 25 percent for third class okay next is crushing strength of first class brick should not be less than 10.5 newton per millimeter square okay um uh, so you should also know the first class second class and third class um bricks and its crushing strength okay for um se second class its crushing strength should not be less than seven newton per millimeter square and also for um third class brick its value should not be uh, less than five newton per millimeter square okay the main function of alumina in brick is so the main function of alumina is to impart plasticity a is the correct answer the percentage of silica in good bricks lies between so the percentage of silica lies between 50 to 60 percent c is the correct answer okay excess of alumina in brick earth makes the brick to crack and wrap on drying d is the correct answer the nominal size of the modular brick is so the in nominal size we have to increase 10 mm on each side so 200 cross 200 cross 100 mm is the size of the nominal brick which is um which is d uh, is the correct answer right okay um, next is excess of silica in good brick results in loss of cohesion okay next is which of the following ingredients of brick enables the brick to retain its shape um, alumina silica iron magnesia silica help brick to retain its shapes the process of mixing clay, water, and other ingredients to make brick is known as kneading, molding, pugging, drying. So it is called kneading. A is the correct answer. Okay. Pug mill is used for preparation of clay. A is the correct answer. Okay. The frog of the brick in, uh, in brick masonry is kept on and the top surface or the top face b is the correct answer next one is the frog of the brick in brick masonry is generally kept on top face b is the correct answer next is the number of bricks required for one cubic meter of 
brick masonry is 500 so you can also calculate it by just dividing the volume of one brick including the uh, thickness of mortar so you can just um, divide um, 500 uh, sorry 1 meter cube divided by multiplying the dimensions of brick um, uh, in a meter so it comes as 500 okay next is glazing is used to make earthenware impervious d is the correct answer okay Next is quick lime is calcium oxide. B is the correct answer. Okay, so next is quick lime is slow in setting, rapid in slaking, both of these, none of above. So quick lime is slow in setting. A is the correct answer. Okay, next is hydraulic lime is obtained by burning of conquer. Next is the main ingredient of Portland cement are lime and silica. Okay, A is the correct answer. Next is the constituent of cement which is responsible for all undesirable properties is tricalcium aluminate. C is the correct answer. Okay, Lee Chattel prayer device is used for determining soundness of cement. B is the correct answer. Okay, next is the main constituent of cement which is responsible for initial setting of cement is called tricalcium aluminate. C is the correct answer. Okay, next is the initial setting time of ordinary Portland cement should not be less than 30 minutes. B is the correct answer. Next is the normal consistency of ordinary Portland cement is about so the ordinary um, portland cement the normal consistency is 30 percent c is the correct answer okay next is early attainment of strength in rapid hardening cement is due to finer grading b is the correct answer okay next is after storage the strength of cement decreases a is the correct answer next is um, Next is, uh, according to IS, the compressive strength of ordinary Portland cement after three days should not be less than 16 megapascal. C is the correct answer. Okay. Next is, according to, okay, or uh, next is, uh, addition of pozzolana to ordinary Portland cement increases bleeding, shrinkage, permeability, heat of hydration. So, addition of pozzolana actually increases shrinkage. Okay, next one is the slump recommended for mass concrete is 25 to 50 millimeter. A is the correct answer. Okay, next is with increase in the moisture content, the bulking of sand first increases, then decreases. C is the correct answer. Okay, next is which of the following cement is suitable for mass construction or massive construction? So low heat cement B is the correct answer, which is used for massive construction. Okay, next is the basic purpose of retarder in concrete is to increase the initial setting time. A is the correct answer. Next is which of the following cement concrete, sorry, which of the following cement contains maximum percentage of dicalcium silicate? So low heat cement contains less percentage of, uh, sorry, maximum contains maximum percentage of dicalcium silicate. So B is the correct answer. Okay, next one is the most commonly used retarder in cement is gypsum we are talking about most commonly used retarder so a is the correct answer next is the in the manufacture of cement our glaciers and calcareous materials are burnt at the temperature of uh, are burnt at the temperature of 1450 centigrade c is the correct answer okay next one is the percentage of gypsum added to the clinker during manufacturing process is 2.50 to 
Okay, next is the setting and hardening of cement after addition of water is due to. So this is setting is actually due to hydration of constituents. C is the correct answer. Okay, let's move to the next one. When water is added in cement, then heat is generated. C is the correct answer. Okay, next one is in medium strength concrete, the water cement ratio should not be less than 0 0.40. C is the correct answer. Next is an excess of free lime in Portland cement. Uh, causes unsoundness in the product c is the correct answer next is if we put a small quantity of cement in water containing bucket then the quality cement will sink to the bottom of the bucket c is the correct answer okay the sample of cement is said to be sound when it is not contain free lime a is the correct answer next one is the cement is used in construction for docks and harbors is for docks and harbors we actually use sulfate resisting cement d is the correct answer so for ordinary portland cement the maximum expansion by Le chatrial principle is should not exceed 10 mm d is the correct answer Okay, the role of superplasticizer in cement paste is to disperse the particles. A is the correct answer. Okay, next is, which is the correct sequence in increasing order of their ordinary porcelain cement percentage? So B is the correct answer. Dicalcium oxide has the uh, less percentage than when it comes silica oxide then it comes lime cao so b is the correct answer okay next is surhi is added to lime powder is prevent shrinkage decrease setting time increase bulk increase hydraulicity so it increases hydraulicity d is the correct answer increase in fineness of cement uh, increases the rate of strength development and leads to the high shrinkage d is the correct answer what apparatus is used for fineness so for fineness we use blaine apparatus leash atrial apparatus is used for specific gravity autoclave is used for soundness and wicket apparatus is used for setting time okay vb test or vb cement is used to determine workability of concrete a is the correct answer next is lime mortar is generally made with hydraulic lime c is the correct answer next is the temperature range on cement kiln is um, 1300 to 1500 centigrade c is the correct answer Next is, which type of following cement is used for mass concrete work? So for mass concrete work, we actually use low heat cement. D is the correct answer. Next is, low heat cement contains lower percentage of tricalcium aluminate, dicalcium silicate, uh, and tricalcium silicate. So A is the correct answer. Low heat cement contains a less percentage of tricalcium aluminate. Next is the correct decreasing order of heat of hydration is. So here you have got to remember that the first comes is tricalcium aluminate, then comes tricalcium silicate, then tetracalcium aluminofluoride then dicalcium silicate so d is the correct answer in our case next is the specific surface of portland cement should not be less than 20 to 50 centimeters square per gram c is the correct answer next is loss of ignition in portland cement should shall not be more than four percent a is the correct answer Next is, which of the following cement has the maximum percentage of tricalcium silicate? So the tricalcium silicate includes 
uh, present in rapid hardening cement to is the correct answer. The next is workability of concrete can be increased by all of above because we can increase size of aggregates by decreasing temperature and by using round aggregates. So D is the correct answer. Okay, next is Portland cement is manufactured by burning in kiln for the following materials limestone and clay. B is the correct answer. Next is soundness test is done to determine its. So soundness is actually done to find a free lime content. B is the correct answer. Next is for the construction of structure under uh, for the for the I'm sorry I'm gonna read it again for the construction of structure under water the type of cement or sorry lime is used so the type of lime is used is hydraulic lime next is the plaster of Paris is obtained by calcining so it is uh, obtained by calcining gypsum a is the correct answer because gypsum has the formula CaSO4 dot 2H2O and um, plaster of Paris contains half water molecules. Okay, next is high alumina cement is produced by fusing together limestone and bauxite. A is the correct answer. Next is a gauged mortar is obtained by adding sand and lime. C is the correct answer. Next is for marine works, the best suited cement is blast furnace slag cement. D is the correct answer. Okay, let's move to the next one. Before setting, uh, testing setting time of cement, one should test for its its consistency. D is the correct answer. Next is, which of the following is the purest form of iron? Wrought iron is the purest form of iron. Okay, next is the ultimate tensile strength of structural mild steel is about 420 Newton per millimeter square. Okay, let's move to the next one. Um, percentage of carbon content in mild steel is less than 0.25% is the correct answer. So here it comes the last MCQs of our um, this video which of the following steel is used in manufacture of rails so manganese steel is used for the manufacture of rails okay friends this is the end of this uh, video which covers um, top 100 mcqs for the building materials so if you have found uh, very informative then please make sure to subscribe our channel civil engineering world for the future videos and lectures thank you